I remember watching Michael Jackson's trial and seeing the cook who says that she would get up in the middle of the night to bake cookies from scratch so that she could bring them to the children in the bed with Michael Jackson and they would be having picnics in the bed. Now she's testifying. You didn't think that was weird? The you first know, thing I, I said to myself is don't. why 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 was she not But but I just I mean I just, you know, Michael Jackson fan over here. I am too. And I just do not, I mean, when other people like come to my, well, I'm a girl, so yeah. I don't know. Because so I was going to say, other people come to my house or they can leave their kids in my house. We might be all in the bed. Right. We might be eating popcorn watching movies. Right. But then again, I'm a girl too. You're, so. and, but this is the thing. If, if you know that there have been whisperings about that, or if you know, I, I just feel like nobody can, do, there's not any person that can do something so elaborate and so well orchestrated for so Without many years and not have a team that's assisting in it. And I'm going to take it a step further and say that, you know, well, hell, I ain't signed a major label. The people at Jive knew what the hell was going on. And they helped it. They they know, they find out what your weakness is. They find out what your poison is. I can remember being in a session early in my career after I became an artist and an A&R um, from Def Jam, because this is at the point when Island, when Island um, had been dissolved and taken over by Def Jam. Um, they sent an A&R to the session, which I wasn't used to because I a and would my entire first album. Explain to the people what a and is. a and is artists and repertoire. Basically, their job is to help connect the artists with producers and pick songwriters and that kind of thing. But I was a producer and a songwriter, so I never used an a and mm -hmm. um, So to play nice in the sandbox with the new team, they wanted to send someone into my session. So I said, yes. Day one, the a and said to me, what's your poison? And I looked at him like he was crazy. Like, I'm what with, do you like, like? What do you mean? What can we get for and you? And I'm, I'm still a little green or whatever. And in my mind, I'm going, I know he's not asking me. But, and you know, I wanted to see if where exactly he was going. What are you talking about? You know, what do you need? Tell, what do you need? You need weed? You need, you need blow? You need, you need alcohol? What you need? I'm like, I need you to leave. Hmm. Because these are the same people when you're laid out and you can't have hold it together and you can't hold a note anymore and you're no longer important to the bottom line, they'll be the ones that will make all kinds of comments about how, yeah, you know, she was so good when she got started, but, you know, she just got it. No, you brought it to her. You brought it to him. So um, I was always really intentional about making sure that I work this as seriously as any other job or career that I would have had outside of entertainment. Do you think not being a party girl held you back at all? Yes. Mm -hmm. It held me back a whole lot. That's deep.